Ahoy, all of you flick freaks out there. What is going on? My name is Andrew, and we are here with another film review. The film that we're going to be reviewing today is The Revenant. This is the newest film by Alejandro González Iñárritu, who is the director of last year's Best Picture winner, Birdman. The film stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Hardy, Will Poulter, and Donal Gleason. It is based on the novel by Michael Pionke. The film is set during the 1820s on a group of fur traders in America's northern region as they must make a difficult decision after their guide, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, is mauled by a grizzly bear. Two men and the guide's son stay behind with him until help can be sent. But one of the men thinks it is too dangerous because a group of Native Americans are on their trail to kill them. It is a film about survival, revenge, and finding something within yourself to push you beyond anything that can be expected of you. This is one of the most beautiful films you will ever see, not only for the story perspective, but literally a beautiful film. The way Alejandro shot this film, only using 100% natural lighting for the entire film, gives this film a sense of realism you will be hard-pressed to find in any other film. The shots of the landscape that are put in this film are breathtaking. Now, I know the question that everybody is curious about, is Leo's performance in this film good enough to win him the Oscar finally? I can say, for me personally, hoping I'm not jinxing him beyond any shadow of a doubt. This is the film and performance that should win him the Oscar this year. Compared to all other leading performances this year, nothing compares. By far one of the greatest performances I have ever seen in my life, and Tom Hardy as well gives a great performance. The film is not for those of you who are easily disgusted by gore, though. The bear scene in particular is intense, and it doesn't cut away from anything. It's all one long shot that shows you in gruesome detail the entire attack. But I feel that the reason why Inuritu shot this film in that way is because it gives the audience a very gritty idea of just how grim the situation for Leo's character really is. This is my official pick for Best Film of the Year. I foresee it winning Best Picture at both the Golden Globes and the Academy Awards. As I said also, DiCaprio will, in all likelihood, finally get the Oscar he has been chasing his whole life. In his expansive career, this is his best performance, bar none. Another standout performance that I did not expect going into this film came from Donald Gleason, who we know from Ex Machina, Star Wars The Force Awakens, and Brooklyn which just came out this year as well. Donald Gleason has come out of nowhere to impress critics and audiences everywhere with a lot of his movies recently. Expect him to be in many great films in the future. In closing, The Revenant is heartfelt, gritty, beautiful, and terrifying, and an edge-of-your-seat experience you will not soon forget. For me personally, I give this film a 9.7 out of 10. Thank you to everybody for listening to this review. If you wouldn't mind, hit the subscribe button in the bottom right corner. And if you check up in the top right corner, you will see a little card icon. One of those will take you over to the Game Geeks channel, and the other one will take you over to the Flick Freak store. We have a Patreon campaign where every dollar put in there gets put directly back into the channel to make it better, because we will all make this channel better together. We will catch you in the next video. Until next time, thank you for listening, and Godspeed to 100,000 subscribers. Great, because a former decorated member of the United oh. States Marine Corps needs your support. No. And his name is John. <laughs> 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 Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> <laughs>